All right, thanks for uh, tuning in today. So today we're going to be uh, speed painting of Frida, and I'm also going to be talking about how somebody could break into tattooing nowadays um, in 2017. So just to note, this Frida, I don't think it's my best work, but if you guys want to see me posting more regularly, then you're going to have to get the ones that like maybe I'd give a B or a C, and I won't be able to just post A's. All right, so... Anyway, let's talk about tattoo apprenticeships and how somebody in 2017 could get one. All right, so my typical rule of thumb is that somebody who wants to get a tattoo apprenticeship, especially nowadays, here's your first mistake that a lot of people will make. Don't go for the cool shop. If the cool shop doesn't want you. There's a strong chance that, like, if you're going to the shop that you just open up, look on Google, and be like, wow, this is the shop that I really want to work at. That means that it's a really high level, and that's great. But that's like being into comedy and deciding, like, I'm going to go work in SNL the first time. Like, yeah, some people that's going to happen, but most people it's like not, you know. So you need to cut your teeth somewhere else. So there's no shame in starting out somewhere where it's, like, more practical because it's it's it's, it's a tattoo journey. It's not just a tattoo like, boom, instantly you made it. So you might actually start your career at a shop that's not very impressive, and maybe you only learn how to, like, oh, I learned how to line here. I learned how to clean here. I learned how to do sanitation. I learned how to talk to people here. And then, say, you work there for, like, a year and a half, apprentice there for a year, right? Then you're going to move on to a shop a little better than that. And then you're going to learn like a little bit more there. Like, oh, and then I learned how to start shading a little better. And then you move on to another shop and then you start learning color. That's more realistic how it actually works. What doesn't actually happen is, oh, yeah, I just like decided I was going to go to my favorite shop. And then the head artist there decided, like, let me stop what I'm doing and start teaching this random person I don't know how to do everything and like somebody might say like well if someone you paid five thousand dollars my general rule like don't pay someone to learn to tattoo i've never paid anybody to learn how to tattoo and you can go to my website look at my work that's not how tattooers learn to tattoo and that's pretty gross to me when somebody wants to offer money for an apprenticeship like if you want to teach someone, then you shouldn't want to charge them. Like, you should think that there's something deeper in them. Um, so, also avoid apprenticeships where somebody's asking you for a lot of money. Then the other way, how can you get to the point where you can get anything offered? This one's the most simple, and this is the most realistic. Start becoming acquainted with actual tattoo artists and get to a point where you can even talk to this person. So that's as simple as going into a tattoo shop and just being like, Hey, I want to get tattooed by you. Get tattooed by them. Show them your drawings. Be like, what do you think about this? And then if they blow you off, kind of like, eh, it's whatever. Look for the criticism. If you can show somebody that you're improving, they're probably going to start having a dialogue with you. And just from even knowing that person and drawing and having their approval, you'll get more people who are interested in you. So you start in a chain of like, wow, this person actually likes my stuff. So... Anyway, this is this free to draw link. Again, this isn't my favorite type, but if you learned anything today, then um, thanks. This is the colored pencil drawing that I made. I actually like that more. And in Flash, sometimes you just put uh, tracing paper over it and then put the white out on and you decide, hey, I like this way more than the original. So, you know, you can do whatever you want. Toodles from Boomington.